Shark Fest is happening now on the National Geographic channel, and I spoke with shark expert Ryan Johnson all about what you can expect to see through Shark Fest. He also discusses a routine drone survey that he was conducting where he saw a shark attack a humpback whale. This turned into the episode Shark versus Whale. We have footage of that exclusive event when I spoke with Ryan earlier this week. Here's more. Today we are discussing the biggest ever shark fest. With me on the line is renowned shark expert Ryan Johnson. We are going to discuss shark fest and all the adrenaline fueled stories. Ryan, thanks for talking with Park City Television. It's my pleasure, Christine. It's, it's great to talk to you. I love talking about sharks and shark fest. So yeah, let's go. Well, let's get right to it. Tell me more about shark fest. Well, Shark Fest is on right now. It's on the National Geographic channel, and it will be showing some incredible documentaries over the next two weeks. And then it switches across to Nat Geo Wild, and it's got another two or three weeks showing more shark documentaries. And, you know, for everybody who loves sharks, and that's a lot of people, including myself, it's, it's, it's a good time to be alive. Well, that's a lot of Shark Fest. It's nice to know that it's going <laughs> to continue for quite some time. Tell me more about what we can see and what we can watch. Well, I was really lucky to work on two productions or two of the documentaries. The one that's really close to my heart is called Shark vs. Whale. And that started way back about two and a half years ago when I had the chance to film a 12-foot great white shark turning the tables on big whales and actually hunting a humpback whale, a 32-foot long humpback whale around 10 times its weight. And I managed to film this from a drone for about 50 minutes going right inside what is a brand new predatory encounter. It, it sounds terrifying, actually. <laughs> well, it wasn't terrifying for me. I'm sure for the humpback whale it was terrifying. But, you know, I came from it from a very much a perspective of a scientist. And as a scientist, I started asking myself, how did the shark do it? Because it's never been documented before or anything. And I put it down to either this shark is a whale hunting pro, this shark has learnt how to hunt these whales from other sharks, or it's an incredibly adaptive, behaviorally adaptive species that can really assess the situation on the fly and look like a you know a seasoned hunter of whales, even though this was the first encounter. And we set off for the next year on this mission, essentially to try to get to the bottom and answer that question. What enabled this shark to hunt a prey that is so much bigger than itself. Oh, I can't wait to see this. You're also involved in Shark versus Surfer. Yeah. You know, Shark versus Surfer, it, it always captures the public's imagination. Most of the people who want to talk about sharks with me want to talk about are they dangerous to humans? How do we stop becoming part of the, you know, a, a victim to a shark attack? And this is really what this documentary is all about. It gives me a chance as a scientist to meet and talk with some of the survivors of shark attacks, try to get inside the attack, try to understand the attack, so that in the future we can mitigate the chance of an attack to happen by being educated when we hop into the water. You know, what really strikes me is that this shark fest, it's presenting science first, and then the entertainment secondary, but really highlighting shark research and conservation. Yeah, well, I think it's going to be entertaining. We can't get away from that. Nat Geo wants their ratings, so entertainment is there. But what's really cool for myself as a scientist and for I know a lot of my colleagues in the scientific field is that when you take your discovery and your work to Nat Geo and you have a documentary made about that discovery, you can be assured that what ends up on the screen at the end of it is accurate, is educational, and is fact-based. And that gives us a lot of security as scientists to get involved and to share our work, you know, which is really exciting, impressive work that a lot of scientists do on something like Shark Fest. And you're right. It's going to be incredibly entertaining. I can't wait to see it. How can we watch? Well, it's, right, it's going on right now on the National Geographic channel. Two weeks' time, it's going to switch over to National Geo Wild. But uh, anybody, you know, we, it's pretty hard to get into the ocean right now. So the next best thing is to switch over to Nat Geo and, and, and enjoy Shark Fest. It's, 
it's a lot of work and it's a it's a lot of fun and it's uh, hopefully viewers can walk away with a great appreciation for sharks. Absolutely. And Ryan, what's next for you? Are you going to be continuing your shark research? <laughs> well, like like most of the world, I've been locked at home for the last three months, so I sort of use that time to. Uh, you know, we're quite slow as scientists, so I've used this time to catch up with my work and come up with some really cool past ideas and research we've done, and I'm going to pitch them to National Geographic, and hopefully I can come back next year with another documentary. <laughs> Fingers well, crossed. Absolutely. You'll have to talk with us again here at Park City Television. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Well, Ryan Johnson, thanks so much for being with us today. You can watch Shark Fest on National Geographic. Can't wait to see it.